This is the 1981 football highlight film. During this highlight film, we are going to introduce you to the coaches, the senior cheerleaders, the senior football players. We will show you highlights of our kicking game, offensive running game, our defense, including sacks and pass interceptions, our run and shoot passing game, and our scoring plays. We hope you enjoy the highlights of the last Lincoln football team. Here are the senior cheerleaders. Connie Golding. Patty Hartman. Carrie Molaski. Carol Richardson. Pam Russett. Pat Russett. Not pictured individually as Linda Crook. But she's in this group shot here. Here is head coach Stan Shea. Assistant coaches are Joe Dolan, Harry Kitts, John South, Mike Thomas, And Rich Olson. Here are the senior football players, co-captain Kent Greening, co-captain Tim Haley, Lauren Simpson, Howard Noreen, Todd Jennings Jay Reese Steve Watts Jeff Benin Tim Edstrom Steve Broders Right. Rick Connor. Dan Greenshields. Mark Turk. 
per sec. Our highlights begin with the kicking game. Senior Brent Neuenfeld was the Bear punter the last two seasons and has been a vital cog in the Bear kicking game. Here's Nui getting off a long high one against Southwest. This is Nui again. He drops one on the two yard line against Jefferson. Again, Nui stops a punt on the Southwest two yard line. at the other end of the kicking chores. Here he hits an extra point against South Southwest. Here we go to the offensive running game. With the fullback the main workhorse in the run and shoot offense, here junior Kyle Berger rambles for a nice gain against Edina. Again versus Edina, where Kyle enjoyed a 100-yard night. He cuts back and has a nice gain. Behind nice blocks by Henning's guard, Benin and Greening, Mike Hartman carries the mail. Berger again behind a nice block by Benin and Haynes guard picks up good yardage against Kennedy. Behind excellent blocks by Tursek, Daggett, and Shea, Mike Hartman gets big yardage on a sweep. It's a sweep again. Hartman behind a great block by number 60, Rick Connor, and he picks up a nice gain. It's Berger this time, a key block by Dave Jensen, and a nice gain against Edina. Here's Scott Shea with a nice outside move on Waggle Sweep, turning it on and picking up big yardage against Edina. Shea on the counter, a nice block from Kent Greening, and a big play against St. Louis Park. Michael Bell behind a nice block by Noreen, high stepping to a nice gain on the counter against Southwest. Having a quarterback that can scramble on the run and shoot helps. Here is a great effort by Tim Haley for a key first down against Edina. Here Haley ducks the rush, pops out, and goes for a big gain against Tonka. Here is junior Jason Weatherman out of the shotgun, scrambling for good yardage against Burnsville. Again scrambling, here Haley avoids disaster. Picks up, picks his way for a big first down in the Richfield game. Now we go to defense. Here's Dave Jensen with it. The big hit of the year as he stops Richfield short of a first down to begin the defensive highlights. Here's defensive end Jay Reese getting penetration with cleanup help from Rick Connor stops Edina for no gain. Quick penetration by nose guard Dan Greenshields and gang tackling by Steve Hamry, Pete Thayer, and Mike Tetner stop this Burnville back in his tracks. Here's a good initial hit by Hamry and Pete Thayer finishing off a southwest back. Pete Thayer and Tom Elton team up to upset the Southwest quarterback and throw him for a loss. Tom Elton again. He keeps his footing and smothers the Southwest running back. Number 52, Kent Greening, keeping his feet and stringing this sweep. Cornerback Tom Brock stops the sweep for no gain. Here's linebacker Pete Thayer coming out of nowhere to nail this Jefferson attempt for a loss. Dan Greenshields and Kent Green put the pressure on the Burnsville quarterback, and Theron Johnson stops him for no gain. Quick Dave Bennett creates chaos against Southwest and recovers this fumble. A third and short, Dan Greenshields gets the first hit. With cleanup help from Mike Tetner, Jefferson fumbles, and the Bears take over.
right side of the bare line caused this fumble recovered by linebacker Dave Jensen. Dave Jensen is Johnny on the spot as he meets the dive head on and almost gets a safety against Tonka. Here Greening forces the pitch and Elton and Tursic tackle the pitch back for a loss against St. Louis Park. Jay Reese plays both the dive and the quarterback and gets help from Dave Jensen to stop Edina for no gain. A great play by Mike Tetner and Jay Reese stopped the Park quarterback from going anywhere on this option play. We begin our defensive sacks here as Jay Reese puts on the pressure and Mike Tetner, Dan Greenshields, and Mark Tursick finish off the Edina quarterback. Here Dan Greenshields beats the Tonka quarterback and gets a big sack. Great second effort by Kent Greening and Mike Tetner caused the Jefferson quarterback to fumble and Steve Jensen recovers. A lightning attack by Dan Greenshields happens so fast the Tonka quarterback has no chance and it's a big loss for Tonka. Here Steve Jensen gets off quick and has a big sack causing this fumble recovered by the Bears. With Noreen and Bennett hot in his trail the Southwest quarterback has to dump it fast Todd Keenan and Tim Edstrom combined for the tackle. With fourth down and short, this big sack by Tom Elton prevents a Kennedy bid for a touchdown. With heat being applied by Hamry and Tetner, the Southwest quarterback is cornered on the sideline, and Steve Jensen, Dave Bennett, and Pete Thayer put him away. A great individual effort by Mike Tetner here results in an unhappy Southwest quarterback. Guard Dan Greenshields proves too much for the Tonka center and again sacks the Tonka quarterback. We begin our interceptions here. As Dan Greenshields forces the park quarterback to put it up early in junior corner. Paul Grobo has the Oski to take the Bears off to a good start. Here Dan Daggett makes a great play getting to the ball while well, it's in the air and he has the interception against Edina. it again, this time against Tonka. He goes after the ball while it's in the air and has a great return to put the Bears in great field position. With Steve Watts taking care of the primary receiver, Daggett picks off another one against Tonka. The Hardin core the wide open bear run and shoot offense is the curl pattern. Here Haley finds Broders open for a nice gain against Park. With a great view of the Dyna defense, Haley finds a seam and once again gets the ball to Broders. Broders makes a nice catch and puts a juke on for a nice gain against Park. Haley to Broders in the seam. A nice job by Broders going back against the grain, and he high steps for a big gain against Southwest. Here is Haley to Theron Johnson on the same pattern against Park. Haley stands in there tough, buys time, and finds Broders wide open against Richfield. Here is a nice throwback curl. Haley threads the needle to Johnson. A nice run by Johnson after the catch against Kennedy. With Mike Hartman picking up the blitz, Jason Weatherman, out of the shotgun, has Theron Johnson for a big first down against Burnsville. Again, making it look easy, Haley finds Broders on the curl for 15 against Edina. On play action, Haley faking the sweep finds Daggett wide open, coming across the middle for a big first down against Richfield. Play action again. Weatherman unbelievably avoids the rush. He keeps his cool, and he hits Daggett for a big 25-yard gain against Burnsville. Faking to the fullback, here Haley hits Hamry to set up a touchdown at Tonka. Out 
out of the shotgun formation, here Haley again finds Slippery Broders for a big first down against the Dino. Haley out of the shotgun hangs on to the last second and drops it to Shea on the slot delay for a big play against Taka. Screens also were a way of controlling the blitz. Here Haley drops it off to Shea on middle screen and Shea scoots for 15. Here Haley pumps away and drops it to Berger on the screen. Nice blocking by Benin Greening and Mike Mulcair. pumps away and drops it to Berger in a great second effort block by split end Theron Johnson. And that's 15 yards against Richfield. With the run and shoot being a short controlled passing game, the Bears occasionally went deep. Here Haley hits Theron Johnson at a goal route for a 30 yard gain against Richfield. Weatherman displaying a knack Ducking the rush somehow delivers to Hartman on a quick screen for a key first down against Burnsville. It's quick screen again, Haley to Hartman. Look at the blocks here by Tursek, Vanin, and Greeny. It's a super play. Out patterns complemented the curl. Here is a great one hand catch by Broders against Edina. Behind a great block by Berger, Haley hits Broders for 30 on a double sideline cut against Kennedy. With a nice read by Haley, Broders gets into the outside seam and makes a patented diving catch against Southwest. Again, Haley to Broders for a key first down to keep a drive alive against Edina. With the blitz on, Haley dumps quick to Daggett to burn Tonka for a 20-yard gain. Haley on the dead run delivers on the money to Broders, who worked his way into the open on a sideline for a pro shot against Edina. Here is a picture book play. Haley dropping the bomb to Johnson, who takes it in full stride to get the Bears out of the hole at Tonka. Haley lays it out on time. Broders adjusts tight ropes down the sidelines for a 40-yard gain against Tonka. We wind up our passing game here with a pretty two-minute drill just before halftime against Southwest. First, it's Haley to Shea to the sidelines for 10. Now it's the other way, Haley to Shea. And some nice running for 15 more. Haley to Broders, out of bounds to stop the clock. Then Haley hits Shea again, wide open on the flare. And he goes to the 25. Running out here, Haley delivers a big strike to Theron Johnson, who gets the ball out of bounds on the 10. And senior Steve Ryan steps in to hit the field goal, completing a beautiful march. We now finish with the scoring plays for 1981. Yeah. 
students, staff at Lincoln for all your support, and a special thank you to Jim Diamond, our cameraman, and Lloyd Peterson and Shirley Munn from the Audiovision Department for their help. It's been a lot of fun. Strength and safety of TCF. Celebrate and save big right now during Sandman's fourth anniversary sale. Ten waterbed styles priced under $400. Bookcases, four posters, soft-sided beds, and basic beds. During Sandman's big fourth anniversary sale, you get a free nightstand with the purchase of any water and wood brand bed. As an extra bonus, when you purchase any of Sandman's waterbeds, you get their new Tranquility One waveless mattress 